Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Houston Maritime Injury Lawyer If you or a loved one suffered a maritime injury in Houston, aka a law firm wants to help you. Maritime injuries are emotionally and financially devastating and have the potential to be deadly. When offshore accidents occur, emergency resources may be miles away, making victim conditions worsen while waiting for the care. Our Houston Maritime Injury Attorney at AK Law Firm are educated in the field of maritime law, experienced in pursuing maritime injury claims, compassionate towards individual clients' needs, we want to provide you with an honest evaluation of your claim and explain your legal option. At AK Law Firm, our personal injury attorneys will fight for the maximum compensation you deserve by law. Call and schedule a no-cost case consultation today. The next is about what can a maritime injury attorney do to help me. Maritime law is complicated and unique. That is why not every attorney practices maritime law when AK law firms take your claims. We represent you by evaluation your claim and building a strong and persuasive maritime injury case, gathering detailed documentation of your accident such as logs, camera footage, witness reports, medical records, and any other accident-related uh, documentation. Handling all necessary paperwork for employers, insurance companies, and the court. Actively negotiating for a full and fair settlement of your claim. If there is no agreeable settlement, taking your case to trial. The maritime injury lawyers, the AKA law firm, know you and your family are probably overwhelmed after your accident. Allowing us to deal with the legalities of your claims need gives you a much needed opportunity to heal. So what is maritime law? Maritime law or admiralty law is a group of laws both domestic and international, that govern shipping, cargo, maritime injuries, passengers, transportation, goods transportation, accidents, and personal injuries at sea. Maritime law divides the types of damages available to the injured according to the classification, the place of injury, and the circumstances surrounding the injury. And then the next is recovery and compensation for seamen. Seamen who suffer injuries while at work may recover damages and compensation under the following maritime laws. Maintenance and cure. Seamen injured at work are due maintenance and cure benefits. It doesn't matter how the accident happened as long as it happened while the seaman was working. Maintenance covers the seaman's basic daily living expenses during recovery. Cure covers the seaman's injury-related medical expenses during recovery, including doctor visits, medication, examinations, rehabilitations, any special medical equipment needed, and costs associated with traveling to medical appointments. And then the Jones Act. Seamen must prove their injuries are partly due to another party's negligence to receive damages under the Jones Act. Damages under the Jones Act include lost wages, medical expenses, pain, suffering, 
disfigurement, lost wages, and lost earning capacity. The amount of damages depends on the extent of the injury of the case details. And then the next is the Longshore and Harbour Workers' Compensation Act. This is a workers' compensation program that provides compensation to workers who are injured while working on navigable waters or on and around adjoining areas of navigable waters, including tasks such as loading and unloading cargo from vessels, repairing ships, and working on decks and pipes. The LHWCA covers any workers employed in maritime occupations but excludes anyone eligible for state benefits and compensation. Injured employees are eligible to receive approximately 2 per 3 of their weekly wages throughout their recovery. They may also get compensation for loss of earning capacity. Death benefits are available to surviving spouse. And then recovery and compensation for non seamen. Seamen acting in their work capacity may not collect the following types of recovery and compensations. Death on a high seas act. The death on a high seas act applies to any maritime accident that happens more than three miles from the shores of the United States or its territories. It provides damages for the wrongful death of maritime workers. Death on a high seas act claim are only available to the spouse, children, dependent relatives or representative of deceased. Passenger personal injury. Passenger aboard cruise ships and other vessels also falls under maritime law. Passengers might file claims against ship owners for any injuries caused by a ship owners or cruise negligence. Reach out today for legal counsel. There are statutes of limitation for filing maritime law claims. Therefore, it is crucial to speak with an experienced maritime law attorney like those at AK Law Firm as soon as possible about your claim. In this maritime attorney, we focus on you. We are determined to change the way you think about attorneys. Call a maritime attorney today and schedule your consultation to learn more about what makes stand out from other firms. I think that's all guys the information that I can share to you. Don't forget to give like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye, see you in another video.